Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Introduction to Asynchronous Programming in Python Asynchronous programming allows a program to handle multiple tasks at once without waiting for each task to complete. This can be particularly useful for I-O bound operations, such as web crawling, where the program often waits for network requests. Python's Asyncio library provides a way to write asynchronous code using async and await syntax. In this tutorial, we will walk through writing a simple web crawler using Asyncio and the IOT library. Setting up Before we start, make sure you have Python installed. You'll also need to install the IOTP and beautiful soup for libraries. You can do this via pip. Basic concepts. One coroutines, functions defined with async depth that can be paused and resumed. Two event loop, a loop that runs asynchronous tasks and callbacks, manages events, and handles IO. Three await, used to call a coroutine and pause execution until the coroutine completes. Writing a simple web crawler. Let's create a simple web crawler that retrieves the title of a web page and follows links to crawl connected pages. Here's the step by step code. Explanation of the code. One class definition we define a class async web crawler that takes a base underscore URL and max underscore depth. It initializes an empty set to keep track of visited URLs. Two fetch method. The fetch method makes an asynchronous HTTP GET request to the given URL and retrieves the HTML content. 3 Parse method The parse method uses beautiful soup to extract the title of the page and find all hyperlinks, A tags. It normalizes these links to absolute URLs and checks if they are valid. 4 Crawl method This method handles the crawling logic. It checks if the current depth exceeds the maximum allowed depth or if the URL has already been visited. If not, it adds the URL to the visited set, fetches the HTML, and parses it for links. It then creates a list of tasks to crawl each link concurrently. 5. Start method The start method initiates the crawling process. 6. Execution the program is executed by creating an instance of async web crawler and calling the start method within an event loop using asyncio.run. Conclusion This tutorial provides a basic understanding of asynchronous programming in Python and demonstrates how to build a simple web crawler using asyncio and IOTP. You can extend this basic crawler by adding features like error handling, rate limiting, or a more sophisticated way to handle the depth of crawling. Remember to respect the robots.txt of the websites you crawl and avoid causing excessive load on their servers. Happy crawling!